Hey everybody, this is Vivica Von Rosen, Chief Visibility Officer and co-founder of Vengresso. I am super excited. Last month I had whatever was going around and I couldn't talk. So Mario took over the whole flight plan. So this is my first flight plan. I am so excited. I'm going to be learning with all of you. So in just a moment, I am going to introduce our CEO, Mario Martinez Jr. And he is going to catch us all up on what is the latest and the greatest with Fly Message. But before we do that, let's roll this awesome footage. Take it away, Felipe. Hey guys, Mario Martinez Jr. here, CEO and founder of Vengresso, and I'm excited to talk about the monthly flight plan with Fly Message. Guess what? Every month, we're gonna be inviting you to join us and learn about two things that are super important. Number one, what are we going to launch next month? And number two, what did we just launch this past month? So what you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure you join us because we're gonna be asking a secret question inside of the monthly flight plan webinar. And if you get it right, you'll be able to get a one month access to the growth plan. So make sure you show up. You gotta be there so you can answer this question. We'll give you all the rules and information when you show up to the monthly flight plan. Join us, don't miss it, and get the latest scoop on what's happening with Fly Message. Take care. Well, look at that. I just learned something already. That is awesome. One month of growth plan for free. That is very cool. Stay tuned for the secret question. And now, without further ado, let me introduce our CEO, Mr. Mario Martinez, who has the latest and the greatest with what's happening with Fly Message in this month's flight plan. Hello, Mario. Vivica Von Rosen, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're at. We know we've got everybody coming in all over the globe. So it's exciting to be here with you, Viv, and with all of you guys out there. So thank you so much, Viv. And I'm so glad that you're feeling better uh, and that we're back on track. Now, all of you guys will be here for the next 30 minutes talking about Fly Message and all the latest and greatest things that are happening. And I'm so excited to be here with you guys. Uh, we've got some amazing things that are forthcoming. Namely, we talk about things that are uh, have just launched and things that are forthcoming. So the first thing I want to talk about uh, is uh, we, re we were the first provider out there to release Google Docs uh, with integration into our Fly Message Text Expander and um, Autofill and Writing Assistant. So what we did was is we actually launched that. And there was a little pesky little bug that kept popping up for all of you guys. And that bug, I'm happy to announce, is now fixed. You can now actually deploy all of your fly messages within Google Docs, uh, whether it's a short snippet, a URL as an example, or it could be a full-on message that you want to be able to utilize within Google Docs. You can deploy that with your uh, sh uh, fly cuts, aka shortcuts, aka short codes, and you can bring that into Google Docs, and you won't see it produce twice inside of a document. So there you have it. Uh, you've got the Google Docs that is now fully functional, all problems fixed. Now, something very important to know, Viv, I don't know if you know this, but you may have woken up this morning and you may have received a new version of Fly Message, Ooh. a new version of Fly Message, whether it's on Chrome or whether it's on Edge 2.1, 2.1 we released. And what we're doing there is fixing a number of different bugs that have come forth, one of them being Google Docs. So. If you haven't received the actual uh, um, uh, update, go ahead and go to your Chrome store and then, excuse me, go to the Fly Message Chrome extension, then right click on it, manage extensions. And then in the upper right hand corner, there's something called developer, uh, I think it's called developer mode, developer mode. Turn that on and you'll see a button on the left hand side of the screen that pops up and says updates. That's what you wanna do. So right click, manage extension, right side of the page, developer in mode, turn that on, button pops up that says update, update the Fly Message uh, Chrome extension, and voila, new functionality will be released uh, directly to you. And just don't forget to hard refresh your uh, Chrome page or your Microsoft Edge page. All right, so two things I just mentioned to you. Number one, 
Uh, Google Docs, the pesky bug of, of, of adding your fly message twice, fixed, done, finit, all good, ready to go, uh, and excited that we were the first ones to launch that in the market. Second item is upgrade to the latest 2.1, and I can assure you within the next 48 hours, we're going to be releasing another version on uh, the Chrome extension, uh, fixing all kinds of interest, uh, sorry, fixing not all kinds creating all kinds of new functionality and fixing a few more bugs that are out there uh, that you have been reporting. Namely, making sure that it works on some really unique applications uh, that we actually have seen some challenges with. Uh, so different types of chat bots, as an example, different type of service desks, uh, online SaaS platforms that are out there. So those are all the things that are forthcoming. Now, Viv? Yes. I want to spend some time talking about onboarding. Now, this was actually inspired uh, by, um, well, first off, we knew that we had to develop an onboarding plan for all of you that are out there. Uh, and most importantly, uh, we needed to be able to get you up and running. Here were a couple of the goals that we had. Number one, we wanted to have you up and running in less than five minutes. Number two, what does up and running mean? Well, it means that we actually wanted you to deploy out an actual fly message within uh, the uh, on the screen and for you to save one of those fly messages within the platform. So if you do this right, you will likely have not one, not two, uh, but several different fly messages included in your um, portfolio or the saved library as soon as you're done with onboarding. And what we wanted to make sure that you had was the ability to be able to do this in less than five minutes. That's right five minute onboarding. So uh, it took us the better half, I kid you not, eight weeks <laughs> to design and develop, uh, the, uh, sorry, to design the actual onboarding experience. And then it took us the better half of the last seven weeks to actually on, uh, uh, Im implement the onboarding process. And I think- Eight weeks for us, five minutes for them. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. Exactly right. Uh, so actually, if you combine the development time and the design time, well, this is a 90 day project. Uh, I received some inspiration. I want to give a shout out to my friend, Jennifer Smith from Scribe How. Uh, and if any of you have listened to my podcast, the Modern Selling Podcast, you'll know that she and I deep dove into this topic for product-led growth companies. And that's Vingresso. Uh, so let's not delay it. Hey, I want to show you now the latest and greatest in terms of fly message. Blech. What did I just say? Fly <laughs> message and uh, in terms of onboarding. So here I'm going to show you this screen right here. This is a screen that you would come up to for a sign up. So let's just say you are a brand new user and you come in and you sign up. You, reminder, you can sign up using LinkedIn, you can sign up using Google, or you can sign up you creating your own individual name, password, uh, and email. Now you wanna rem remember this, whenever you're on this sign up page to sign up, Make sure you click the accept. That's how we're going to be able to uh, uh, provide you notifications within the platform that actually new items have been launched and show you and help you unlock features. So click the accept button when you see that here on the sign up page. So let's pretend now that you have clicked LinkedIn, Google, or you've signed up. Actually, before I take you there, I, I want to bring out something. We've actually seen a number of tickets that have been coming in where someone says, I've lost all my fly messages. They're all gone. What did you do with them? And what we've seen is, is all of you out there have become uh, very uh, uh, useful and resourceful at utilizing these two buttons here. Now, let me give you a heads up. For when you, when you sign up using LinkedIn, we are using the email address that you have put into your primary email field on LinkedIn. Now, in some cases, in mine as an example, mine is mario at vengresso.com. However, the Google, if I use my personal Google account, it's at gmail.com. So when you sign up using one of these two buttons, whatever the email address is, is what actually will be populated in the database. So if you have two different email addresses, one for LinkedIn and one for your Google, well, guess what? You'll have two different accounts. So make sure that if you're signing up with LinkedIn, it's got the same email as signing up with Google if you want to use both buttons. Like in my case, I have it actually the same on both buttons. So it doesn't matter which way I sign in. But if you've got two different email addresses, heads up, 
you will end up having two different accounts and it'll give you the appearance that you've lost, lost your actual fly messages. Uh, in the future, we will actually work on a way for you to be able to combine your accounts if you believe that you have a secondary account into one specific account. And we'll need some way to validate that. So that's a future offering, but uh, we're not quite there yet. All right. So let's pretend now, really, that you've signed up using LinkedIn or Google, or you've actually entered your information and you've hit the accept button. So with that in mind, I am going to click. Oh, wait, where did I go? There I am. Come back. Come back. Here we go. I'm going to show you now the very next page that you land on uh, is going to be email verification. Now, this email verification will come up with a code. You will receive an email. And once you receive that email, you now need to take the code and put it into Fly Message. That's the very next page that you will show up on. I can't show you that at all, unfortunately, because I already set up my account. But just know as soon as you hit that go button or sign in with LinkedIn or sign in with Google button, the very next page will be email verification. Yes, we are verifying emails. And yes, you need to go to your actual um, uh, email to be able to gather that. Now, you might say, I didn't receive one. Check your spam filter, check your junk folder. And if truly you don't see one, on the screen is coming up our support address. Uh, send an email to hey, H-E-Y, support at vengresso.com. Hey, support at ingresso.com and the team will be able to help you so you can get your email verification code. But we've had a 99.9% .9 uh, delivery rate, no problems, everything's good to go. All right, now you verified, and now the very next page is this. This is the onboarding page right here, and this is uh, the page that you will land on. Uh, and now it says, welcome. First, let's grab the extension. All right, awesome. We're going to download to Chrome. So this is the only direction. I cannot move forward. I cannot move backwards. I cannot close this window. You must follow the instructions. So I'm going to go to Chrome right now. And I'm going to add to Chrome right here. I'm going to click Add Extension. Very simple. Once I click Add Extension, now what will happen is, bada bing, bada boom, I will come into here. And uh, I will actually... I'm already pre-signed in, it's showing I'm signed in, and now I will click on this puzzle piece, just like the instructions say right here. I will click on the puzzle piece. Uh, let me dismiss that right there. Click on the puzzle piece and click on the pin mark right there. And now Fly Message will show up in my browser right there in purple, okay. Now this experience that you just saw is a little wonky because I already am an existing user and I was already signed in and I had an account. So I'm going to uh, jailbreak this onboarding process, yeah? Uh, so what you would have had is, is as soon as you uh, installed it, um, it would have now brought you to the next screen, which we're gonna show, which is onboarding one, right inside of here. And that's where it would have brought you to next, okay? So it would have seen a screen, it would have showed you what to do. And as such, now you're gonna come inside here and you're gonna describe your role. Hey, I'm in business operations. I'm going to use Fly Message for both personal and business and I click next. Fantastic. Now it says, hey, we'd love to know how you're gonna use it. Are you gonna use email, documents, or through social media? Or maybe it's all of the above or one of the two. Now, if I, whatever I choose, this is actually a personalized experience. We will actually display various different applications to show you how you can use Fly Message and where you can use it at. So I'm just gonna select all three of them and I'm gonna click the next button. Once I click the next button, it says, what problem are you trying to solve? Helping us understand the problem that you're trying to solve will absolutely help us bring out new product development, as well as provide notifications that are unique and specific to your use cases. So I've gone in and I've said, uh, the, the problems that I'm trying to solve are uh, reducing time I spend typing. Hey, who doesn't want to save an hour in the day? Uh, I also need a better way to create engagement with consistent messaging, and I want to avoid mistakes when sending a message. So now I'm going to go to my next button, and that brings me to the fourth page. And look at this. Pretty cool, pretty sexy. Right inside of here, uh, it tells me, hey, imagine you're typing a short code, and the entire message or snippet is typed out for you anywhere online. We call that a fly cut. 
So sometimes you may hear uh, this referred to as a short code or as a, a shortcut. Whatever the acronym is, we call it a fly cut. So now what we're telling you is uh, we want you to type in dash B-A-M for book a meeting. So anybody who wants to use it to book a meeting. You can see we've got it here on Slack. And uh, you can see there's some other use cases right above here in Google Docs and LinkedIn as an example. So I'm going to come inside of here and let's watch what happens when I type in dash B A M. And voila, what happens is, is it builds out the actual fly message inside of here. Phenomenal. So it actually works. Very cool. Now, uh, with all of you guys, um, I'm going to have to manually push this along. And the reason why the next button is not cut coming up is because I actually have a fly message that is dash BAM. You would not have a message that is dash BAM. And so what you would have seen on the screen is a bunch of confetti for congratulations. Unfortunately, I have this message already pre-designed and therefore you're not seeing that. But once you type in dash BAM, you'll see the confetti on the screen, a message pops up and the next button will actually uh, be able to uh, uh, be orange. So we're gonna go hit the next button right now. And now we've come to the next page. So um, now what we wanna do is we wanna set up an example, a auto signature for you that you may want to utilize. So here we're gonna put in Mario Martinez, my title is CEO, uh, my company name is Vingresso. By the way, I've already added this in so it's actually holding the data and I can put a phone number in if I want and I'm gonna click the next button, all right. Now we go to the next button and now it says, hey, we wanna pick a fly cut. So this is for a signature. We recommend three different types. You can do dash sig, uh, slash sig, or z sig. Now the reason why we put a character in front of the actual fly cut is because if you happen to type out the three letters S-I-G, a sig, Maybe it's an acronym you use inside your company. I don't know. But if you happen to type that out anywhere online, including email, it will build out the fly message. Well, that's not what we want happening. So if you proceed all fly messages with a character, unless, of course, you know that that acronym is not going to be used, great. If you proceed it with a character, it's always generally safer to do that. So we like the dashes. That's uh, our recommendation. Many of our customers use a slash, but the reason why we like using a dash is because um, if you're looking at a keyboard, the slash is using your pinky to be able to actually hit that slash on the keyboard, um, which is our weakest finger and our slowest finger to type. And so we are all about increasing productivity. So there is a method to the madness. Um, so the dash actually is not your pinky. It's your opposite ring finger uh, that you would have um, if you were a uh, married and therefore it's one of your stronger fingers for typing. So dash sig, we're gonna to go to the next screen here. And now it says, hey, uh, let's simulate what we just built. You put in your information inside there, phenomenal. And now we're gonna type in dash sig. And boom, there's that confetti. So I clearly don't have a dash sig. You wanna see that again? Let's try that again. We're gonna go back, we're gonna come forward and we're gonna watch dash S-I-G, woo, woo, built out. Vivica, how cool is that? That is so cool. Now they're not gonna get confetti every time, are they? Uh, well, they'll only get confetti if they don't have the dash S-I-G in, in their fly touch. Yeah. I love it. No, this is so cool. I hadn't seen this yet either. So this is fantastic. I can't think of any other software or Chrome extension that is this thorough in the onboarding um, automatically. It's fantastic. Oh. Well, you haven't seen it all yet. I've seen but, nothing yet. Yeah, you haven't seen it all yet. And by the way, my co-founder is seeing this for the first time with me because we're launching this to all of you. We've kept it a really awesome secret. But I do want to point something out. You may have noticed that, hey, wait a minute. There's a phone number here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Whoa, I'm confused. If I back up, I don't have a phone number here. Why are we uh, putting in a phone number inside there? Well, you know, some people get a little worried that when they're putting in data and information that all of a sudden someone's going to have their phone number. Um, so what we figured out in advance is if we actually uh, put this inside here and do dash SIG inside of here, you would have realized now, oh, that's why they wanted the phone number. So in that case, you have the opportunity inside here to either uh, add it in 
at uh, the, the phone number in just, a, a, actually not here, uh, in the next screen, or you can delete it out. Let's watch. So we're going to go to the next screen, and there it goes. So this is that whole entire message that you just saw right here. And now I can either delete the whole thing right here and bring that up, or I could uh, control Z and I could put in my phone number inside of here, and then I can click save. Now, what we're teaching you here on this screen is actually uh, several elements. One, this is actually a simulator right here of what a fly message looks like. You have the ability to add in all your categories. If you're a free user, you have uh, a handful of categories that you can create. So if you want to cr um, uh, uh, create a category, well, what you're going to be able to do is actually only select your default category. You can add in uh, other categories at a later stage. Uh, or if you've got categories already set up and you're an existing user that is now seeing onboarding for the first time, you will see all of your actual categories inside of here. Okay. So with that in mind, I can save this fly message. And now you would have instantly had a fly message built out and saved automatically right inside of fly message as soon as you're done. So I'm just going to click save um, and move on. And now it actually tells me, you can see that the fly code already exists. Please make sure the fly code is unique. Um, I already actually have that inside the, the platform. So I'm going to continue without saving. All right. Uh, and actually, if I just back up, hold on. I just want to back up one second. I'm going to hard code this. Oops, not 18. Da, 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 da. Let me back up to this page here. Uh, and what would happen is, is um, when I continue without saving, all of you guys would not have, would, would see this very next screen. And that is, ah, it's force pushing me. Okay, so I can't actually show the screen, but uh, step number nine, uh, let me go back actually here and I'll show you on this screen team. Hold on one second. I'm going to stop sharing, come over here, put this into there, share my screen. I want to show you this. Uh, unfortunately, it's a little broken uh, for me because I'm an existing user already. So it's uh, Fly Message is doing exactly what we want it to do. Uh, and that is to move you along and not show you screens that you don't need to see uh, whatsoever. So let's see if I can make this work. I'm going to go here. And it won't work. Ah, because I'm not signed in into incognito. All right. I thought I would be able to get it to force push. I'm sorry. But the very next screen, step number nine, is actually uh, forcing you to be able to see the pick a plan section. And in most cases, most of you would end up picking your plan. And you would move right, mosey right along uh, um, inside of there and pick your plan, your free plan, and away you go. All right. So I'm going to move on to step number 10. And right inside of here, uh, now you get to the last screen here, and in this last screen, you can now set up a free personalized 30-minute onboarding session. And so that, let me get this straight, Mario. Maybe I just signed up for the free plan. I can still have someone help me out and walk me through this, a live person? Great question. I'm so glad you clarified that, Vivi. Uh, the answer is yes. You are a free wow. user you can work with any one of our RMs, our relationship managers. And believe it or not, we actually, I just checked the stats last night, Viv. Uh, only 33% of you guys out there that are doing this are taking advantage of a free 30-minute self, uh, sorry, uh, help session from our RMs. Only 33%, which by the way, is a phenomenally large number. So, but I want to see that number. Our goal is to have that uh, actually by the end of next month up to 40%. 40% take rate uh, that we want. And by the way, if it comes in at 100% Viv, we're totally okay with that. So what we want you to know is that you can click on schedule a, se a session. And hopefully Viv, you can see my screen, the yep. uh, the uh, time, the, the, time uh, the, the scheduling page. Yep. Perfect. So you can come inside here, you can select a date and time inside of here, you'll get a calendar invite. And then one of our relationship managers will, will, will be show up to that call and then help you personally onboard yourself. Once you've done that, bada bing, bada boom, you now can go to the dashboard and away you go. And once you click go to dashboard, now you will see that you've graduated right inside of here and you've got a hundred percent graduation rate. And now you'll be inside of fly message ready to add a fly cut, ready to manage categories where you can uh, do uh, 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 cat add categories. So this is actually the onboarding process. And that onboarding process is really designed to be done within five minutes, the five minutes so that awesome. it gets all of you guys uh, going. 
and to help you uh, save on time. So Viv, yes. let me see if there was any questions that you could think of that I didn't answer for that onboarding process. Well, I think my, my main question was, I can't believe that you can talk to a live person, even with a free account to onboard right now. So that is amazing. And I, I don't know why we wouldn't have a hundred percent acceptance rate. Um, and thank you for clarifying that about the phone number, because I know a lot of people are hesitant, obviously, to put phone numbers, email addresses, things like that into a document because they think we're going to they're going to get spammed <laughs> text message to death. So thank you so much for for clarifying that section and why we add the phone numbers there. And and also thank you for showing me what that orange bar was at the top. I, I just uh, refreshed my fly message and I what is that? I just graduated. Fantastic. <laughs> so those, those were three very useful pieces. And um, I, I can see how this more easily helps people to utilize um, our software, which quite frankly, I, I think the user, the UX, the user experience is actually pretty easy anyway. But after that really thoughtful and well thought out onboarding process, I think it's going to be much easier for people to understand how to use a auto text expander. And I think for people who already use auto text expanders, they're going to see the value of the things like search and the fact that we have some rich text options, even with free and the fact that you can have categories. Um, those that's, that's a huge added benefit to some of the other uh, ones out there who shall remain unmentioned. Um, but those of you who have opted for the premium plan, I think you're going to see just how powerful the fly message software is. Um, and then of course, if you've never used an auto text expander before, maybe you just heard Mario or myself talking about it, this is really going to help people understand just how powerful and useful and time saving this productivity tool is. Awesome. Yes. Very good point, Viv. And uh, for all of you out there watching, um, a couple of things that I want to highlight, and then we're going to end this uh, uh, this flight plan. Um, so I promised you that we would have this right about the middle of the month. Unfortunately, I didn't deliver with our team, but I can assure you uh, the wait period will be well worth it. <laughs> um, so up next, up next, coming forth will be something so cool. And I am so excited about it. Likely, I will be showcasing this on the next monthly flight plan. And this will be native integration into Gmail Ooh. and native integration into LinkedIn. Yes. Those are the things that I'm so excited about. So when I say native integration, what do I mean by that? Hmm. Well, actually, uh, let me give you a scenario. Here's a scenario. I've got 76 fly messages, as you can imagine, and I use uh, many of them all the time, but some of them I don't use that often, and I can't remember what's my shortcut. Uh, and so in those scenarios, when you can't remember, we want to increase your productivity, continue saving our users about an hour a day, and what we're going to be doing is actually allowing you to click on a, a simple button, bring up a, a screen within Gmail or within LinkedIn that allows you to search and find any of your fly messages by yes. keyword, by actual short, uh, the fly cut, AKA shortcuts, AKA short code, That's uh, awesome. and or add brand new fly messages. We will be launching that natively into LinkedIn and natively into Gmail. That is coming up next. Uh, I'm very excited. And... What's also coming up next, and I'm uh, crossing my fingers that this will be available here by the next flight plan, specifically uh, is actually the ability to be able to, um, uh, oh my God, what did I, I was just going to announce, wait, <laughs> ah, what did I just say? The ability to, what was I going to say, Viv? Uh, this is live camera happening right here. I just totally forgot. The ability to... That is so funny. Mike, my, my product team is going to strangle me that I just had it. And I product forgot. team, if you're here, let us know. <laughs> oh my God. Why? Can I just say though, while you're thinking about what you wanted to say next, um, 
For those of us who are really actively using short codes, uh, either using Fly Message or one of the others, um, so for me, I've got like 22 or 23 or 25, I don't know, I've got a ton of different replies on LinkedIn, depending on who the person is, who's inviting me to connect, et cetera. I can't remember 27 short codes in my head. Um, and I was like, I've got them written out, but then I got to go look through them. But now I can just pop in a keyword with this new, uh, with this new offering, which is so cool. I could just pop in a keyword is what Mario is saying. And any of my fly messages and the fly codes with that keyword in it will pop up. And then I don't have to go looking for it. I don't have to jump out of LinkedIn and back into fly message and scroll through. At least it's already organized my LinkedIn replies. I'll be able to find it in like milliseconds. So that is huge for those of us who are super users or for those of us who are new to short codes and just can't remember all of them that you've created in the past. So that is really, really big news and very, very awesome. Do you remember what you were going to announce? Oh my God. I so remember actually now. And thank you to Santi, who's IMing me in the background. <laughs> I am text, WhatsApp and private chat. Uh, he's like, you idiot. Uh, once you're, <laughs> you should know what we're talking about because it's in QA right now. Uh, so sorry. So, and let me, I, I totally like build all this <laughs> up. I'm like, I'm like building it up and I'm word whispering and I'm like, what was I going to say? Well, that was like total blunder. Okay. So, and what will be forthcoming is fly share. You'll have the ability to take any of your messages that you've created and share them with your friends and family within the organization, and they will be able to actually instantly utilize these fly messages as well and accept these uh, this uh, fly message. So they'll be able to have it. You'll be able to have access it. And there's an entire dashboard that we're building around fly share of messages that you've shared. Uh, messages that you've received, and you'll actually be able to see how many times people have accepted it. And the really, 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 really cool part about this is that you'll actually be able to see and participate in a rewards program. Ooh. So every time you share a message, uh, then other people, uh, they set up their account and they accept the message in terms of fly message or fl the fly share, you actually will start earning rewards and that will be forthcoming as well. That's in the platform. So very exciting for those of you that are free users, you'll be able to actually get additional fly plates. You'll be actually be able to un unlock different features within the platform as well. So share, 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 and share away. But this is the number one requested item. I was hoping that uh, we were going to um, uh, uh, show this today, but we didn't. Oh, and I'm also being summoned. Uh, I mentioned to you at the beginning that there was a secret question that I would say it at the end. So I've said the answer now about a thousand times. Okay. Write this down. Secret, secret, uh, um, uh, question. What does three, five, nine, six, seven, four mean? Three, five, nine, six, seven, four. That is a secret code. Three, five, nine, six, seven, four. I have said the answer about a thousand times today. It's literally on the screen that you're looking at right now. What does three, five, nine, six, seven, four uh, mean? Send a message to hey support, H E Y S U P P O R T at thingresso.com. You see it popping up. Tell them what that means. And if you get it right, we'll give you a month free of the growth plan to trial and for you to utilize. So, uh, hey, support at vingresso.com, 359674. Uh, one last thing I want to mention is that um, we'll be launching use case pages um, by early next week on vingresso.com, Viv. And use case pages will um, be applicable to some of the largest user groups that are utilizing FlyMessage. Uh, number one, salespeople. That by far represents a significant portion of our user community. All of you out there who love uh, uh, Vangresso for who we are and all that great content that we've always delivered, guess what? We're still delivering that great content to you and you make up a, a significant portion of our team uh, that, uh, that uh, utilizes Spy Message. We'll also be releasing a use case page for you guys in customer service and customer success. That is another ginormously large uh, user group that is on Fly Message as well for answering frequently asked questions. HR, yep, we're re releasing one for you for the HR use cases for onboarding. Welcome to your first day on the job. Uh, sorry, you're terminated. Uh, this is what you do. Uh, or 
recruit recruiters who are uh, actually out there recruiting. So we'll release that. Business owners, you got that right. We'll be releasing one for you. And then the general knowledge worker for everybody else who is part of, who I, who I didn't mention, you all will be able to have a use case page. So those will be coming forthcoming next week on vingresso.com. So you can kind of look at, well, how do I use this as an HR professional or as a business owner? or as a salesperson, or as a customer service person, we will um, release those out on vingresso.com. So we have been busy bees. Um, if you aren't on our mailing list, get to vingresso.com, sign up for a free account, um, and you will um, uh, be immediately entered into um, our uh, email marketing. But here's what I want to tell you. I'm not going to give you the code. When you become a Fly Message customer between now and the next 5,000 subscribers, the next 5,000 subscribers, you will have the opportunity to earn a lifetime plan, a lifetime plan, a one-time fee through our partnership uh, that we have with another provider uh, who is a distributor uh, for $79. That's it. $79, one-time fee forever and ever. You will save time, energy, and money. And with that in mind, uh, um, you will want to understand how much time are you actually saving? Guess what? Hopefully by December 15th or December 17th, our next fly, flight plan, we will be unlocking and showcasing to you your personal dashboard, which will showcase all of the time savings that we are tracking for you and how many fly messages, characters, words we've typed for you. With that in mind, I'm excited, Vivica. This is awesome, amazing. So don't forget, uh, if you want that secret code, Give us an answer, 359-674, 359-674. Make sure you actually send a message to hey support at vingresso.com and send that into hey support at vingresso.com. What does that mean? What is the answer to 359? I'll give you a hint. Look at your phone. Look at your phone. Uh, I just got a message saying the answers are already start uh, 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 coming in. It took me a while, but I didn't figure it out. Hey, let's not leave right now. We're going to roll this last video. Uh, Felipe, take it away. And making sure that people are spending their time on value-added activity rather than writing copy-paste. Hi, I'm Toby Carrington. I run Global Operations at Seismic, and I'm really excited to be also an advisory board member at Big Resonant. Really excited to be an advisory board member at Vengresso for a number of things. The first one is the productivity and efficiency really across the, the horizontal, whether you're a business owner, sales, marketing, customer success, the, the use case is really clear. The thing that I'm also really excited about is the PLG strategy, and that's going to bleed into the enterprise. So I really believe in the future. I believe in Mario and the, the team. So really excited. The excitement around Fly Message and its future is all about productivity for me. The productivity and efficiency is such a key topic and making sure that people are spending their time on value added activity rather than writing copy paste and menial tasks is absolutely critical today.